We are right now at Emerging Science Technology uh, Conclave and joining me right now is uh, UN Minister for Science and Technology, Mr. Jitendra Singh. Sir, we also saw Prime Minister talking about this and saying that yes, the government is very much here to give, uh, you know, to promote uh, investors as well as uh, the technology drivers. Uh, how is this conclave going to encourage uh, uh, people who want to invest in country as, as well as uh, who want to invest in technology? No, no, as you yourself said, as the Prime Minister very rightly put it, I think this is one uh, unique platform and the first of its kind initiative that's happening, the rolling out of uh, RDI fund for 1 lakh crore. And I think the first time ever that from a government sector you are rolling out a fund to actually incentivize and attract and facilitate the private sector. So as you would recall over the last half a decade or so, or the last 11 years under Prime Minister Modi, this government has been very forthcoming in integrating the private sector with the public sector. So, And I think the credit goes to Prime Minister Modi because he has the capacity to take some of the out-of-box decisions. Even some of those uh, areas which were hitherto considered to be relatively forbidden, like for example the space sector, the nuclear sector have been opened up to the private players, which nobody actually thought. So. In the same spirit, now how do you also integrate the private sector, public sector in an equal measure so that they have a sustainable relationship for the long term? Maybe the private sector was not prepared that we would be suddenly so forthcoming. I mean, again, this is, credit goes to Prime Minister Modi that he has taken such an out-of-box uh, decisions in short span of time. So in order to also give them an initial uh, sort of uh, opening or initiation, we have this RDI fund and later on, of course, when they get involved, then there will be huge funding and then we have uh, a whole eco ecosystem which also includes the National Research Foundation called the Anusandhan, where 60-70% of the resource would be from the non-government sector. So we also need to change our mindset. So I think the, all these uh, measures, these uh, initiatives will also help us to get out of that mindset where we depend only on government and we have a self-sustainable ecosystem which integrates. So, and this is a unique conclave in the sense, of course this is the maiden edition, it will happen every year. Here you have brought all the stakeholders under single roof for the next three days, with the entrepreneurs, the potential startups, the potential uh, the, the industry representatives, the researchers, the academia. So they have an opportunity not only to network but also to connect with each other both formally and informally. Like many of the startups who are actually serious startups may be looking forward, looking uh, f looking up to, looking for some uh, potential handholders from the industry or potential supporters from industry to sustain themselves or to raise themselves to the next level. Which startup you like the most? No, I think that will not be fair <laughs> doing so, but they are all of them good. See, what is important is, more important, which is not often realized is, that the, this kind of uh, change of uh, the government approach under Prime Minister Modi in the last few years has uh, given a surge to that aspiration in the youth. So I, our youth always had the potential, they had the capacity to innovate. Indians are otherwise also innovative by nature, even if you go by the grandmother's stories. But the youth thought that there is no opening for us. So there were two categories of one who did not realize that they had a potential to innovate or to try something. Others who had realization of what they had, but they did not know where to find an outlet. So this sudden, you know, uh, these uh, opening of all these options has given a, uh, that's why, uh, uh, you know, lot many of them are coming from small towns, right. tier 2, tier 3. And uh, out of 1,70,000 startups that we have in this country, I think nearly 30% are even from uh, tier 2, tier 3 and uh, uh, maybe even more. Uh, no, yeah, more than 49% from tier 2 and tier 3. And uh, a good percentage of them, women-led startups, the first generation. You can see some startups uh, which are talking about cyber security. There are some talking about drone developments. Uh, there are some drones which can also be used at the high altitude areas. Yeah, no, no, they are they are trying to venture into areas which were which have remained virgin or not tried so far. And that's that that's why I said this is an aspirational surge that you see in this room. Being science technology minister, do you foresee India becoming a technology developing hub in coming? I think we have already started treading on that path. And uh, the the other important aspect is that we are now exploring into sectors which were not hitherto uh, sufficiently explored, like the coastal sector, the, the deep ocean mission, the Himalayas. And we have so much of uh, huge wealth and biodiversities, 
buried inside the ocean that if we explore that we would be reaching that vikshit bharat target faster than a message side. to technology developers and youth who are very much interested in this yeah youth are uh, see what happens is that ultimately they are children of the same society mm -hmm. so you cannot give them a holy name of startup and leave them there you have to give them sustainability so when they start making money they start making good livelihood like for example we started in a very humble way in our roma mission with lavender startups which you also witnessed we just have two or three boys they were reluctant to get into this new area but when they started uh, you know getting turnover in crores we have a huge lot of them now we are now confronted with the issue of industry yeah they become entrepreneurs and now we are uh, trying to move into the next level of uh, giving them value addition so that it sustain so once you have good profitability good sustenance for which industry linkage is important for which the market mapping and market presence is important so it is a part of the whole of the ecosystem and i'm sure the anusandhan national research foundation which was also the initiative of this government is going to play a major role in that thank you mr speaking trust why here you can see as to well a conclave has been organized at bharat mandapam where pm narendra modi also came and he inaugurated this uh, uh, you know entire conclave uh, the government has also uh, pledged to invest around uh, 1 lakh crore rupees for the startups and also for the technology development <laughs>